Growing up in Canada and watching Canadian television, um, I didn't see anybody that looked like me. You know, I was 5'10", at 10 years old, with a size 10 shoe. <laughs> and I went through a lot of challenges, right up to college, in fact. But I heard voices that I loved. The voice of Celine, the voice of Joni Mitchell, and the voice of Shania. Um, I recognized that those three women were a mirror. And so um, I put myself in that mirror. What they projected out there, I made up my mind I was going to reflect. And so I appreciate their journey. I appreciate their passion and their commitment. I really love that they maintain their maple leaf. So I knew that was my purpose, to at least become one of the faces that other little boys and girls that look like me could say, hey, she's from Toronto, she's from Canada. You know, she's a woman of color. I, she's got the same talent that I do. I could do it as well. I've been in this business for 20 years. I started really young. But coming up in an era where it wasn't about social media, it was really about making the connection. My, my biggest challenge was being good for a, being good for a Canadian. I love my country, don't get twisted. However, you don't hear like Beyonce, American R&B singer. I, I got tired of always being the uh, bridesmaid, never the bride. That's what made me move to America, in fact. And when I moved to America, Canada took me serious, interestingly enough. And Canadians are way too passive when it comes to celebrating the arts. We need to get radical again. Right now is independence. You know, budgets are different. Labels aren't just throwing money at you, but I believe we're, we're building soldiers. And so they're coming into the business. I'm meeting many artists that already have a management headspace. You know, they, they produce, they do all, all things related to music, your brand, your publishing, merchandise, your management, the actual recording contract, your touring, anything related to your fingerprint. I think artists nowadays are right into business mode. And I think that's the most amazing thing that's happened. You have to be ahead and be uniquely yourself and have an identity that is quite like no one else and be able to trust that. So many people tried to have me sing a certain style when I was coming up. This is me, my voice is raspy. I have a big, bold, powerful voice. I couldn't do the fluffy Mariah Carey. I love Mariah Carey, but that wasn't me. I think Canada's brought quite a few unique things in the past few decades, Avril impacting. The Shania Twain showing her midriff even, you know, with music that goes along with it. That's incredible. For sure, Alyssa Cara in the recent past, she's really wearing her image naturally, not being remolded into some sort of thing and also being able to be aligned with the Taylor Swifts of the world. I love seeing that happen because once upon a time when I was coming up, I would have loved to have Mary J. Blige lock elbows with me and say, Julie, I see you. I support you. Let's do this. Let's join forces. So yeah, lots of big changes, lots of big things happening, and I'm, I'm happy that Canada's getting the credit for it. However, it is a male-dominated industry. Now, women are treated uh, very, very differently. There's all types of pressure, internal pressure, to, to dress, be, think, speak a certain kind of way. But I am most excited about empowering women. We have so much influence, more than we realize. My name is Julie Black, and I believe women in music is Canada.